beautiful people. Um, as many of you know, I do quite a lot of my reflecting and thinking while I'm driving and I was just doing exactly that and I felt like there was something that I, I wanted to share. So this is sort of expanding a bit more on what I was talking about the other day about being, being a parent and um, being triggered by our children and how somehow those little delights managed to really get the knife in and twist it um, right where it hurts. And I think part of this experience is, uh, of being a parent is that we actually begin to heal some of our own parenting wounds, like if we have them. Um, you know, I'm not saying that all people do, but I'm finding, interestingly enough, that when I'm talking with mums and dads about, you know, parenting their children and what that looks like and how it makes them feel, I'm hearing a lot of stories about how they're reflecting on their own experience as a child and their own experience with their caregivers. And I think one really interesting point that's been coming up quite a bit and that we've been sharing about is that we are innately, um, to put it bluntly, like monkey see, monkey do kind of learners, right? Especially when it comes to how we're nurtured. So um, to give a, a kind of really, I don't know, simple example. Um, <coughs> sorry, I used to live on, um, on quite a big farm and we used to often have to raise calves um, if their mums rejected them or whatever it might be. Um, and so what was interesting was as we sort of followed along the journey of the calf, if she grew up and she had a calf of her own, she would often be a little bit of a neglectful or confused mum. And it's because she didn't have the experience of being mothered by a cow to learn in her sort of subconscious patterning how to do that. And so I think what happens for us humans, not to liken us to cows so specifically, but um, is that we almost uh, want to fall into a pattern of automatically parenting the way we were parented. And I think what's so interesting now is that with so much um, research and new theories and practices coming out around parenting and around child development that our parents just simply didn't have awareness of or knowledge of when we were little and they were parenting the way they were parented, right? So I think there's a lot of parents now who are, or carers, you know, not only biological parents, but, you know, other forms of carers who are trying to break the mold a little bit and parent differently. And, um, and that can be really challenging. I think it's really important to acknowledge that, that it's, we are reframing beliefs that we have. We are um, consciously reprogramming ourselves or attempting to, to parent a different way with different knowledge that we have now. And I think what happens is when our children trigger certain wounds in us, certain pains in us, certain belief systems, we have to realize that that is okay. And the goal is not to not be triggered ever by your child, but rather to recognize it, to be able to love them through it and love yourself through it. And this is what I love about um, some of the work that I'm doing now is actually around supporting parents to reframe how they think about and relate to their own experiences and how working through that and healing that and unmasking that and um, whatever that might look like is then helping them to parent and to feel better about this journey. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you, I guess, that, you know, the takeaway is the goal is not to be not triggered ever by your child. It's about, um, you know, growing that awareness of where that's coming from. Where is that hurt coming from? And is there a way that that can be healed for you and that you can give yourself love and compassion and empathy for your own experiences? Um, and also to remember that it's really, really normal and natural for you to fall back into old ways of parenting based on how you were raised or, you know, 
your previous beliefs or expectations or whatever it might be. And again, it's about being gentle with yourself and recognizing that, you know, the beauty is in, in wanting to learn and in wanting to heal and in wanting to parent differently for your child or whatever that might be. So yeah, another little musing from Steph as I'm trundling about my day. Um, but if this resonates with you, I'd really love for you to drop me a comment or a message or share your experiences with me because, um, yeah, this is something that's really close to my heart, both professionally and personally. So, yeah, I hope you're all having a beautiful day and I'll talk to you soon.